Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix is adding brand new mythic bosses, new mythic weapons, medallions, vault locations, and much more that we are going to be showcasing in today's video. And if you guys want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping into Fortnite shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. And a big shout out to everyone using code NRPH in the item shop. You guys are legends, so thank you so much. So the first new mythic boss and mythic weapon getting added in Fortnite Chapter 2 OG is going to be a new remixed version of Midas and Meowsels, which is a new skin getting featured in the Chapter 2 Remix Battle Pass. The reason we know this is because Fortnite actually sent out an official teaser box to Fortnite creators a few days ago with a bunch of little Easter eggs hidden, one of which was these golden pins, and this one right here showed a picture of Meowsels face with Midas's golden scar and other features over it, which can confirmed that this was our first remixed battle pass where they are going to be infusing Midas and Meowsels, which kind of makes sense if you look back at the chapter 2 season 2 launch trailer, Meowsels was literally Midas's pet cat, so they obviously had a very strong bond. And back in the chapter 2 season 2 days, Midas was a mythic boss that actually dropped the mythic drum gun, which was a very overpowered mythic at the time, and Meowsels also had his own boss and mythic known as the Pew Pew Rifle, which was a mythic version of the AK Assault Rifle at the time. And considering Fortnite is remixing and infusing iconic skins and characters from the early days of chapter 2's battle passes like Midas and Meowsels, it's fair to assume that our new mythic weapons for these infused bosses are also going to be mixes of both of their original mythics, which in this case would be a hybrid weapon that was kind of a mix of a submachine gun like the drum gun and an assault rifle like Meowsel's Pew Pew Rifle. And the closest thing I could think of to a weapon that we've already seen released in Fortnite but has never received a mythic variant was the tactical assault rifle that was released in Chapter 2, which was kind of a hybrid between a submachine gun and assault rifle, so Fortnite's probably going to make a hybrid mythic similar to that with a new design and obviously it will end up being gold because it will have Midas's golden touch. For the second mythic boss and weapon getting added in Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix, it is a new infused skin between T and Tina and Ocean, which were both from Chapter 2 Season 2 and Chapter 2 Season 3. Again, just like the Midas and Meowsels mix-up skin that we will be receiving in the new Chapter 2 Remix Battle Pass, the reason we know this is going to be our next infused skin is because it also had a golden pin included in the teaser box sent to creators, which actually showed a mix of T and Tina's face, but also had Ocean's freckles on it, which was a very subtle detail. And back in season two, T and Tina actually had her own mythic known as the Kaboom Bow, which was a very unique weapon and one of the first times we saw Fortnite add a bow of any sorts. And then Ocean, who was a boss in chapter two, season three, actually had the mythic burst assault rifle, which personally I thought was one of the best mythics of that season. That thing absolutely shredded. Now, of course, mixing a burst assault rifle and a mythic boombo would be kind of complicated to balance out, but the closest thing I can think of is a new version of the bow, which is basically upgraded to do more damage at range, and they can also implement kind of a burst fire effect to have it cover more distance. And the one weapon that Fortnite's already released that kind of pops into my mind is the boom bolt, which which was released earlier in chapter 5. They could obviously take the version of this, make it better at long range since the mythic burst rifle for Ocean was really overpowered at distance, and then they could also add a burst aspect to it to fire off in burst of 2 or 3 to get a bunch of explosive bows sent out there. And although this mythic does seem far-fetched, you guys have to remember that during chapter 2 season 6, the primal season of Fortnite, we also had a bunch of unique variants and versions of mythic bows that all had these crazy mythic abilities to them, so it really wouldn't be too hard for Fortnite to create a remix version that includes a burst fire and the boom bow. Also, make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. Now, for the third mythic boss and new battle pass skin in Chapter 2 Remix is actually a new version and mix-up of Deadpool and Agent Peely, who were both featured in the Chapter 2 Season 2 battle pass back in the day. And this skin was not actually teased 
used in the official teaser package sent to creators like the other mashup skins, this one was actually featured and showcased first at the D23 live event where Epic Games actually showcased this skin for the first time as a real world costume. And what's crazy is we also have our first official look at a Deadpool Peely infused skin that was actually added back to Fortnite in the original chapter 2 season 2 days. Most people overlook this because it's such a small detail, but if you guys zoom in on the Deadpool Scootin' emote, you can see that there is a little sticker in the very front of the scooter that showcases our first ever look at a Deadpool Agent Peely mashup. And again, it was featured earlier this year at D23, and now that we know that Fortnite is also releasing a Deadpool and Fish Stick mashup at the end of Season 4, this would make a lot of sense as a new Battle Pass skin and Mythic Boss. And of course, Deadpool was a Mythic Boss back in Chapter 2 Season 2, who actually had the dual hand cannons, which again was the first ever dual wield weapon added to Fortnite, which was amazing. And then unfortunately, Agent Peely was not a mythic boss. He was just an NPC that you were able to talk to on the island. So there's two possibilities for this new mythic. The first of which is Fortnite would just re-release the dual wield hand cannons with a new revamped design and possibly upgraded stats. Or they could take Gwenpool's dual wield SMGs, which were used for her mythics last season, but make the design red and black to fit the overall Deadpool look. Either one would work, I think, as long as it is a dual wield weapon, since that's what Deadpool is notoriously known to use in the movies, and it would fit the theme for next season very well, considering his original from Chapter 2 Season 2 was also dual wield. And for the fourth a mythic boss getting added in Chapter 2 Remix, it would be an infusion between Brutus and the Ripleyverse Sludge skin, which both have very similar builds, and this mix of skin would be amazing. And there was actually a golden pin showcasing the Ripleyverse Sludge skin included in the creator package that Fortnite sent out as teasers for Chapter 2 Remix, but the aspect of Brutus getting infused with Ripley was not confirmed anywhere. This was just a theory for a really good mythic boss and a mythic weapon. Of course, Brutus was a mythic boss featured on the Chapter 2 Season 2 Island who had the mythic version of the minigun, which was extremely broken back in the day, and the Ripleyverse Sludge skin was actually introduced in Chapter 2 Season 1 when mythic weapons and bosses were not even a thing yet. No one even knew they existed, so unfortunately he doesn't have his own mythic, but this sets up for a crazy possibility and this was a theory that I thought of myself. Just like the rest of the infused and remixed battle pass skins, bosses, and mythic weapons we're going to be getting in chapter 2 remix, my thoughts was that what if Fortnite infused the explosive goo gun, which would go really well with the Ripley vs. Sludge skin as they are both made of goo and slime, with a version of Brutus's mythic minigun. This would set up for a crazy possibility of a explosive goo gun minigun hybrid where you're able to shoot the explosive goo a lot faster and a lot further while also having a really awesome minigun design and look to the weapon all while having the explosive goo coming out be a neon bright blue to fit the Ripley vs. Sludge skin look and design which I think again would be amazing. This would obviously be a pretty far-fetched and out there mythic, similar to what Fortnite would have to do if they do end up infusing TNTina's Kaboom Bow with Ocean's Burst Assault Rifle, but I still think the possibilities are there, and considering a lot of this season is going to be remixes and infusions of things we know and love from the early Chapter 2 days, this would be a banger of a mythic and something very unique that we've never seen before. And unfortunately, we do not have any information on the fifth mythic boss or weapon getting added, as Fortnite usually only adds five mythics and boss NPCs on the island at once, and there still is a possibility for a few other remixed and infused skins to get added in the Chapter 2 Remix Battle Pass that unfortunately we have not had teasers or any early looks at as of yet. But as we get closer to Fortnite Chapter 2 OG that is now only 11 days away, we will have more information and we will definitely be keeping you guys updated. And for those of you guys unaware or have not been keeping up with the Chapter 2 OG news and leaks, it was also confirmed that Week 1 of Fortnite OG 2 is going to be following the Chapter 2 Season 1 update scheme. So that means that most of these mythic bosses and mythic weapons are not going to be available at launch on Chapter 2 Remix, but you're going to have to wait until the second update when the Chapter 2 Season 2 is actually implemented, since that's finally when mythics were first added to the game. 
Just so you guys are well aware and not disappointed if you load into chapter 2 remix and there's no mythics for the first week. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let me know down below if you guys have any awesome theories or takes on what possible infused mythics Fortnite could release for the new chapter 2 remix season. I'd love to know your guys' ideas.